This is an acrylic dirty pour with Liquitex Basics Acrylic Deco Art Multi Purpose Sealer. Whoops, I used the wrong thing on these. Well, that's interesting because I was supposed to be using Flow Troll and it looks like I put sealer in these, but they're doing great, so I'm just going to be quiet for a minute. Um, it also has Elmer's glue in it. Uh, Glue all, which is important, not the regular school glue, but glue all. Some distilled water. And then if you notice, when I started the video, I had poked holes in the cup. I saw this yesterday on a YouTube video. I'll have to link it so that you can see it. Oh, also it has silicone in it. And what I found is they were showing this treadmill of silicone. I found this one at Lowe's for $3.50 over in the lubricant aisle. <laughs> it's a little end cap with lubricants. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this up now. And, ooh, weeha. Now if you notice, you'll start seeing the bubbles pop here. That's from the silicone and the air bubbles. So in a minute, these air bubbles I'll hit with a heat gun. They use torches, but I'm not allowed to have fire. Not much fire anyway. I can have candles, but torches better for me to stay away from. Just because anyone that knows me, I'm not very mechanically inclined. So this is my newest <laughs> obsession right now. It's called Latex uh, Acrylic Pour. It is so much fun to do. It is amazing in the colors you get. I apologize for the video, but I threw it up real quick from my old iPhone 5. And, and it's kind of hanging off my shelf taking the uh, taking the video. So, you know, sometimes you just do what you got to do once you poured the paint. But it was looking so cool that I wanted to go ahead and show you what I was doing. So I'm going to drop this over here into this corner some. Usually when they're doing this, they leave, they put so much paint on it, they leave it flat. But also, I am a cheapskate, so I try to use as much as as little as paint as possible for best coverage i'm not getting coverage into my corners so i'm going to um i got these little spatulas these little white pack of spatulas they're like 2.99 at michael's and there's a bunch of them and that's what i'm using for my stirrers and everything in my paint and so i'm going to take this overflow and drop over here. I apologize if you can't see that. Okay. So you can get this little plastic pouch of white, uh, white plastic, different types of spatulas. I learned this um, from Tim Holtz about the spatulas. And you can take it and, um, I like to use these instead of wood because you can wipe them clean real quick on, on an old towel. And then you don't have to get rid of the wood or they're easily to keep using there. So I've also got my painting itself on um, canvas paper. And I'm going to be using that for cards. So I'll have all these funky. So if you see the cells are starting to pop. Can you see those? The air bubbles are popping away. I'm going to take this over here. People are probably going, wow, that's a mess, but it's so much fun. I did get some of my brand new boots the other day when I was first learning, and I'm going to have to figure out to paint a acrylic scene on my boot toes now, because I don't think it's coming off that suede. It's my new Tom boot set. Okay, so I'm going to take that. Uh, they use the little torches in the videos, but I've got this little heat gun from embossing. You can see the bubbles starting to pop. And if you notice that you'll see them pop and they'll start opening it up. They call these cells. And that's what the silicone is helping do. So this silicone encapsulates the air bubble. And then when it pops, it brings the paint up around it. A little science there. Look at that one. So on this, I used a silver metallic paint. And then just um, 
the primary blue, like this is what I use to basic. And I use this sealer instead of this pouring compound. So we'll see what happens, okay? <laughs> Whoopsie doodles. Well, anyone that knows me knows that when I get into a project, I get really excited and just start pouring stuff, working away at it. So it's really looking cool. The colors are just awesome. If you get the light just right, you can see where the bubbles are poking up. They look almost like little pimples. You can one very important thing I learned watching the videos is you don't overstore your paint once you put in the silicone. So just drop the silicone in and three stirs, and that's it. You do that very last. Pull this over some. Woo! Look at that. Isn't that cool? Looking good. Looking good in my neighborhood. So I've got this set up. I had all this extra styrofoam from one of my, uh, when one of my shelves came in and they've been great as um, holders for the paint and to keep it off the ground. And with this one, I'm gonna have a little trouble because I need little feeties under it or something to keep it up off the styrofoam so it doesn't stick to the styrofoam. You have to be real careful. This acrylic is tacky, tacky, tacky. And I get my finger in there, sorry. See, you can't really screw it up. If you screw it up, stick an embellishment on it, right? So, let's see. For right now, I think I'm just going to put it on my styrofoam. Oh, let me do this real quick and then I'll transfer it. So, I'm going to get the camera really close so that you can take a look at all the bubbles and yummy 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 stuff i hope this is coming out good i'll probably post it before i edit it because i'm so hyper about this system or this process all right so i hope that wasn't too close i'm gonna leave you for 